Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the Crafty Black Girl, and if you hear any steps, that is my lovely fur baby coming to visit me. So I was gonna pick him up, but I guess he doesn't want to be bothered. So I have been planning on filming more regularly. So as you see, I am back in the South and I had a little bit of a celebration haul that got cut off it is what it is but i have started works in progress so fun fact about me i am a person that only does one project at a time so i don't have a lot of projects that build up and i don't have a huge fabric stash um i do have fabrics for projects that i plan on starting after I finish this one but I don't start a project until I finish one but here's the deal what shocking I do have right now two uh, projects although one of them I have not been working on so we're going to start with the first project which is let me not show the pattern, but it is the Definius Raglan by Jessie Mae Designs. I have this right here. I am doing the short sleeve version of this. Normally for me to take, to do a sweater, it takes me like two weeks, maybe three weeks to knit uh, completely. But I have been working on this one for, for a while. I started it at my um, sister's house because I do knit nights with a group um, from North Carolina. The owner is, or the creator is Rebecca. She's at Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. She also has a YouTube channel here, so shout out to Rebecca. She um, is my main source of yarns. She's my main source of anything yarn nitty things. If she doesn't have it, that's when I'll go to Amazon. But I am using the Ultra Alpaca from Becca. I think that's what it is that I'm using. Let me see if I can find a... a notice in here okay i don't have the the tag but i have started on the shoulder slash v-neck portion so i guess it's sewing this way i don't plan on being finished with this anytime soon if i get it done within the next seven months i will be so proud of me because i started on this just so when i'm at knit night see squirrel went off on a tangent sorry when I'm in knit night, sometimes I feel guilty working on a quilt while I'm in knit night. So when I have those guilty moments, that's when I will work on this. Clearly, I haven't felt guilty for at least the last month or so because this is on stitch holders. I don't even have the needles connected to this. So yeah. Uh, I haven't started on pick this back up because I am consistently working on hand piecing right now or what the girls call English paper piecing. Oh, someone wants to join. You want me to pick you up? Okay. Or English paper piecing. So EPP for short. I am actually... Oh, I need to take this off. I just found out this is removable. Okay. So I am working on the Tula Pink Nova quilt. I'm going to just show the picture. Which I'm sure anybody that does EPP knows Tula Pink and her patterns. But I am doing the Tula Nova quilt. I have made it to the stars. So if you've done it before, I've made it to the star portion. I've completed the stars. 
I've completed the center portions and I've completed the hexagons. So just to show you a piece, this right here is my center. And I have two variations of the outer parts. The center is also outer parts as well. I am doing a very bad job of explaining it, but it will come together. I'll do a video when I finish. These two, this one, and this one are the two outer parts that I have for my quilt. It's all hand stitched. I am going to end up, once I finish the piece, I am going to have it applique or I'm going to applique it to, I'm thinking it's in her unicorn poop. It's the soft green. I have it over there. I just can't think of the name. I'm going to applique it to a solid color so I have negative space when I quilt. I'm not going to hand stitch the quilting. I am going to just machine quilt it once I get done with this. I don't think my plan was to just kind of have some time of nothing but EPP, but I miss my machine. So after I complete this quilt, I think I'm going to do a regular machine quilted um, quilt once I'm done. I am going through a uh, self-proclaimed journey where I am only quilting just focus on quilting and improving my skills in quilting for a year, which I have officially, since I've been back, decided to extend it for two years. I dabble in everything, like I might have said in other videos, and I wanna see how good I can get if I just focus on one craft, and that is quilting. It just brings me joy right now, and that's what everyone needs, is a little bit of joy. So, um, yeah, I am very happy of my progress. If this even makes sense, this is as much progress as I have made. I will make another video where I just focus on the EPP or the hand sewing of this quilt and not um, my knitting, which I love. The Jessie Mae, it is a very nice knit. It's flowing. I am just not in the season of knitting right now but when that guilt hits i'll be knitting on that and yeah that's where i am right now so sub project that or what i will call my work in progress when i feel guilty is the raglan sweater with the cap sleeves and my actual main project is the Tula Pink Nova. And I believe I've made some nice progress on it. I'm not stitching anything together. I'm just piecing um, or putting the pieces together. And I'm reopening this because I'm literally about to go work on this now. I'm very happy with the progress. It's a very nice niche. You listen to your audiobook and go. And yeah, so thank you for stopping in for this short video and I will keep you uh, posted. Hope everything is going well. What are you working on? If you clicked on this video, I would like to believe that you quilt too. So what quiltingness, quilty goodness are you working on? What are you doing? How is your vibe? What's going on with you? Dish. Or, you know, don't tell me anything but like the video anyway. That'd be nice. All right. Bye. I'm going to go see why my fur baby is whining.